The OTR team has arrived. Mega Lizzie is in New York City Hi. as the keeper slash seventh year slash prefect of On the Regimen. I have decided that we will not be doing any work on this rainy day. <laughs> but instead, we're going to watch the second Star Wars movie, which I've never seen. Hopefully. If we can figure out how to work this. Otherwise, we're going to watch Fifty Shades of Grey because none of us have seen it and it's a free movie. About dominating rape scene type sex. <laughs> By the way, big shout out to my client Chris, who baked these cookies that are one protein, ten carb, one fat per per cookie, and they're really good. I have no idea what's in them. Yeah, We're crushing them right now. Love you, bro. All right, Chris, figure out different. Chris, let's get the Star Wars on here. I'm not trying to watch any softcore porn today. Today, <laughs> <laughs> not right now, at least. Yeah. What do you got there, Chris? Mm, Talanti, coconut. Yeah, Caribbean coconut. Mega I have Ben and Jerry's Cherry Garcia Froyo. I like it. I'm rocking the raspberry Greek yogurt flavor. Ben and Jerry's a little bit lower fat than normal training day. Do you guys have anything to say? Sours. May the force be with you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, so I mentioned in a previous vlog that I'm giving away all my clothes and I like kind of didn't mean it at the time But now I actually mean it because I just want to give away all my possessions So I was going to donate them to Goodwill, but Goodwill just like even though they What do they do? They employ people who are less fortunate. Maybe or they say they do uh, Their business model is they take donations their cost of goods sold is zero and then they sell them and they make a profit um I don't actually 1,000% know that, but all I know is that I would rather give someone who watches my YouTube videos my clothes before I give them to a stranger. So if you're a dude, I'm 5'10", 180, and I have, what do we got here? We got like a couple pairs of express jeans, blue jeans, black jeans. There's like some gray skinny jeans, this nice like army green jacket. Here's the gray jeans. The jeans are like 31, 30, 31, 32. Um, we got these bar three shirts, which are pretty nice, slim fit, 15 and a half inch neck, and 32, 33 arm. We got the blue. We got this standard ass shirt that 98% of the population owns. We got this one. We got black hoodie. We got Lulu hoodie, and like some other shit too. So email me, michaelvacanti at gmail.com, your address, if you're interested. There might be like some boots and some other stuff, but just hit me up and if like you want this stuff. Bang. What's up guys? I told you I was gonna be vlogging more of my personal life. I'm in a discussion here with Miss Claire about the number of times a man and a woman need to hang out before it's appropriate for the dude to just like fart. Because this is our third time hanging out, and I'm bulking, and she knows I'm bulking on like 4,000 cal- Didn't we just talk about this? I'm on 4,000 calories a day, and I'm going to have like a stomach ache if I just don't fart the whole night. So I, I feel like- What do you think? I think I don't want to be on this. You can't see you, but I would like to hear your opinion on this. That never is the correct answer. You don't think it- Even if you married a dude, and he like- ripped ass, <laughs> you'd be like, you're not allowed to do that. that uh, guys, that seems a little extreme. I'm th I, I actually think the second date, halfway through the second date, it's okay. <sighs> Claire, you got anything else you want to say? These guys are going to be fucking furious if they don't see you, by the way. Maybe one day. No. You're gonna be a YouTube star. I really would prefer not to be a star of life. I'm a star of life. I stopped recording. I don't believe you. Have I ever lied to you? <laughs> yes, husband. <laughs> Just say hey. What's up? No. Introduce yourself. What? Introduce yourself. 
like your name, you don't like farts, you're not going to talk? I also don't like this, yeah. You're uncomfortable being on video? Yeah. Oh, come on. The subscribers are really great, I promise. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to bed. Good night. It's noon, I'm about to go lift. If there were ever a workout where I dropped dead and like I wouldn't be surprised, this is it. Like if my heart just exploded because of the amount of caffeine I've had this morning is just really silly and stupid. I'm actually not going to push sets like to failure for that reason because I'm afraid I might die. I didn't really sleep last night and then I got up at 5.30 and went and trained Gary who also didn't sleep last night so his training session was not beautiful. And then I have, I had two new client programs that I had to get done because they start on Monday. Um, so I designed those this morning and I'm just wired and about to go train with Chris and Mega Lizzie who are Mega Lizzie's part time, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it in the video. But I just wanted to call it. So like if I drop dead and they find my cell phone and they're like, why, why does he record these videos? But that's interesting. He predicted his own death. Like, this is it. And what should my last words be if this is it? Listen to the voice in your head and behave based on that voice and that intuition with zero judgment of it. But immediate action based on your intuition and be patient you'll live a better life all right welcome to the workout clearly since i'm talking to you i did not die during it which is a good thing here's chris banging out this set of five reps of incline bench followed by five reps of seated cable row back and forth no rest for eight minutes which is insane i would never do anything like that even if my program told me to um you guys know Chris, he's, he's been on the team for three months now. He spent 10 years in the Navy and then flew directly to New York City where he had never been before, only knowing me as an online coaching client and basically just dedicating his full loyalty to, to me. Um, and he's the man. Here we got the kettlebell princess, Mega Lizzie, who lives in Orlando and came up and surprised us actually for the weekend. I met Mega Lizzie through photocracy, and she has been working remote part-time for me, <laughs> well-timed head nod, with basically anything art and design related, uh, which she didn't even have a background in. She just picked it up and got really good at it. So any photo editing, any like picture sizing, any words on things for blog posts, for Instagram, um, I just send to her, and she's amazing. So... We've hung out several times in person now, but yeah, when we when she started for me, it was remote, and we had only hung out in person like one night ever. Um, here I'm banging out some single arm rows, my first move on this day. If you've been watching, you know that I added straps, which I've never used before except very recently on horizontal pulling to try and activate more back. This is my top set, my first set. We're working with 120-pound dumbbells for five reps, which felt pretty good, actually. It might have had something to do with 900 milligrams of caffeine, but um, I can feel my back growing, and it feels really good, getting stronger, getting bigger. Here's Chris. I don't even know what he's doing now. Like, just some crazy high-volume muscle-building John Romanello workout, uh, doing some incline pressing with the parallel grip there, the kettlebell princess being the kettlebell princess here with crazy mobility skills. Um, <laughs> We were joking around because I, I have to put my arms out. These are called shoulder dislocations, which are a nice front delt and pec move. Um, I'm actually going to skip ahead here because I am now seeing that I included basically a minute straight of me curling, and who needs to watch that? But I was doing 3 by 12s here with the – or I'm sorry, I was doing RPT uh, 6, 8, 12 with 50, 45, and 40-pound 40 dumbbells just banging them out. some more pistol squats. Um, but yeah, it, it's just, it's fun. I normally train by myself. <laughs> I'm such a dick. <laughs> um, I, I normally train by myself and I get very angry and go to that deep spot and use fitness as therapy. But like the Thanksgiving workout, this, this workout with these guys, with the team kind of messing around, having fun, um, really was a good time. 
here, rear delt flies. I did four moves today. I believe this was my fourth. We only got three on camera, but eight reps with the 50 pound dumbbells. I've been progressing on these super quickly. It, it wasn't long ago I was doing three by 12 with 40 pounds and now we're already up to 50 pounds. Um, and Chris is finishing it out here with what I would describe as fairly sloppy inverted body weight rows, but he also just did an ungodly amount of volume, so I can't really give him a hard time for this. All right, on to the rest of the video. Guys, I had way too much caffeine. That was one of the better workouts I've had in a long time. Usually they take me like an hour 15 with warm up and everything. I condensed it into like 47 minutes, got it all in, was going like pretty heavy on stuff. And I like still feel kind of good, but a little jittery. And I'm about to get on a plane and I know I'm gonna be free. Like I might have a panic attack on the plane. I might actually think it's gonna like, yeah. <laughs> There he is in the pilot. Let's go. Home sweet home. Dad said Chloe's still kicking. Yep. That's good news. Got a little salad action here. Got a little salad action. Got a little, uh, a little, little salmon action. How many carbs we got here, Mom? Check yeah, check the box. You and Dad might not get any rice because I'm on a training day. I do not want any rice. You don't want any rice? No. You're low carb? No, I just ate such a big lunch. I had carbs. Uh, carbs. 42 grams in a cup of cooked rice. Okay. And how, and did we make the whole thing? We made two of these. Oh, no. And how and many servings per container? Two and a half. So I have five servings. Times 42. We got 200 grams of carbs. That gets us a good start. You need more than 200 grams of carbs? Mom, I need 650 today. Chloe! 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 Yeah, I've had some. I probably had 200. Chloe! What's up, girl? What's up, girl? How are you? How are you? How are you? Mm. Sweet potatoes? I'm thinking sugar cereal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe some oatmeal. Maybe some Rice Krispies. With tons and tons of sucrose dumped on it. You can have that for your bedtime snack. Bedtime snack? Yeah. Okay. Cereal.